claim that we want to build a relationship with God if we have no idea what we're saying to Him? Right? You wouldn't claim that with a person, would you? You wouldn't say, I'm trying to get to know so-and-so for marriage, but I have no idea what I'm saying to them. Right? I have no idea. We're, I'm, I speak in Chinese. Well, do you understand Chinese? No. Okay, well, how are you going to get close to that person? I don't know. How, how are you going to build a relationship? I don't know. Right? It doesn't work. In order to build a relationship, you need to communicate. In order to communicate, you need to understand what you are saying and what they are saying. So we should do our best, at the very least, to understand the meaning of our prayer. It doesn't mean you have to go overseas and get a degree in Arabic. It just means you can learn the meaning of your prayer. That's crucial. Another aspect of increasing your focus in Salah is removing, obviously, distractions. Okay? But there's another very subtle point, and that is this. The more you focus on Allah outside of your prayers, the easier it will be to focus on Allah inside of your prayers. The reason we can't focus in prayer on God is because we're not focused on God outside of our prayers. What do you think about in your prayers? Guess what? It's the same thing you were thinking about before your prayers. Same thing you think about after. Same thing you think about all day. The idea is that we don't remember God throughout our day, so that's why we don't remember Him in our prayers. You're worrying about what you're going to do in the evening, or your tests, or your studies, or your children, or your husband, or your wife, because that's the same thing that's occupying you throughout the day. So the idea here is you train the heart and the mind to remember God throughout the day, and it'll be a lot easier, and it'll be natural to remember Him in your prayer. Make sense? That training is in dhikr. Dhikr, remember we said that there is a supplication for every motion of life, right? You leaving your house, you come back to your house. You start driving, you enter the bathroom, you leave the bathroom. You start eating, you finish eating. You're always remembering God throughout your life, so it'll be a lot easier to remember God in your prayers. One other thing I want to add about Salah is try not to be in a hurry. That's important. Try not to be in a hurry. The Prophet ﷺ, one time he saw a companion praying, and after he finished praying, he said to him, go back and pray for you have not prayed. So then he went back and he prayed again, same way. And he said to him again, go back and pray, for you have not prayed. Do you know why? Because he was praying like, you know, a chicken pecks the ground. You know how we do that? Like, like that, like every motion was just so quick. He said, you haven't prayed. That's not prayer. The prayer needs to be something that you do with some, you know, slowly so that you feel it. You're bowing in front of God. It's not exercise. You're bowing in front of God. You're prostrating yourself, your head, in front of your Creator. It's not just some sort of physical exercise. So there needs to be part of the internal khushua is that externally you have to have khushua. By doing it slowly, not too fast, and by not fidgeting, like not too much motion, because that's not khushua. Khushua is stillness. Wow, got really still. It's stillness. So you shouldn't be fidgeting. You shouldn't be going too quickly. That's also part of, part of building the internal khushua, is by having that external khushua. And then protection from shaitan. Because shaitan comes and whispers to you when you're praying. So, a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim That's one way to protect yourself from shaitan. And then there's another way to protect yourself from shaitan, and it's also, also through your athkar. For example, the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever says, la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. That statement, 100 times in a day, is protected from shaitan for the whole day. So those types of things, if you really institute, the, if, you, if, you, if you do those things in your day, 
then you're, it's going to be a lot easier to have better prayer, better quality, because you've just been protected from shaitan. And he's the one who's like whispering to you when you're praying. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.